Hey girlies, are you ready for my Hawaii shopping vlog? My first stop was at the Hermes in the San Francisco International Airport and they had so many bags on display, including the Lindy, Evelyn, Cargo Pikachu. I think they're reserved for international customers, but I did walk around and there was just so much eye candy, so many scarves, toiletries, petite age, ready to wear shoes. And so I had a lovely time walking around, but let's just jump right into Hawaii. So I was located on the Waikiki Strip during my stay and this is where I first First shopped when I got there so the first place we stopped is at the duty-free store so there was a little section that had a lot of designer clothing such as CDG, Ami Para, self-portrait but they had a lot of other things like skincare, sunglasses and all the prices are reduced retail and no tax regardless of if you have your passport or not so I picked up a lot of gifts here for family and friends the next stop was Prada. There was so much stock available. Maybe it's because we were going a little off season, but every store we went to was so well stocked. There were so many beautiful bags, like these sparkly sequin bags that Prada does so well, but specifically my friend did come in here looking for some bucket hats. So we had a grand time looking around, but we did successfully find her the most perfect hat. And the next stop was at Chanel. They again were so well stocked. She's trying on the mini 22 here. They had so many different mini 22 styles, as well as even the really popular mini Kelly style that's going on. I think it's called the nano bag, but they didn't all have videos in store. So please bear with me. There's just a lot of pictures for a lot of the stores that I went to, but they had so many different colors, so many different styles, classic flaps, a lot of small leather goods. So we had a wonderful time shopping here at Chanel as well, but stay tuned for my haul video. Next up was Dior. Dior is definitely one of my favorite brands. Look at this beautiful wall of exotics. They just had everything, including crocodile, snake, ostrich, you name it. And oh my gosh, look at these little adorable micro bags they have here. The essay showed me two very special Miss Mini bags in Python as well as ostrich. And they just had so many beautiful colors surrounding the store. The store in Waikiki was definitely just jam packed with so much eye candy. And I would love to add a crocodile bag one day to my collection, but there were so many mini Lady Dior's, Dijoy's, all the styles, you name it. They had it, they could pull anything from the back and that was really, really wonderful. There was no problem with stock and oh, the raffia at Dior just gets me every time. But the SA heard that I liked ostrich and so she brought out some very special ostrich bags for me to try. The one that I'm seeing here is the mini saddle and this beautiful deep green ostrich as well as this mini Lady Dior in this beautiful beige ostrich color. I tried on both. This green was just so beautiful. Sage green, forest green. It really matched with anything and then ugh, this ostrich with the beige and the champagne gold hardware was just to die for. We then looked around at the ready-to-wear, both for the men's and the women's. I do really love Dior ready-to-wear. I think it's definitely on the pricier side for ready-to-wear, but I had a really nice time looking around and trying a lot of different pieces on. If you have a favorite brand for ready-to-wear, luxury ready-to-wear, I would love to know down in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions, but this D-Joy has been on my mind for so long. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Should I get it? But the Miu Miu was right next door. It is the sister store to Prada and we tried on so many different things, including the cutest Rafia styles. Unfortunately, in SF and the Bay Area, we do not have a physical Miu Miu store. So it was really nice to come to Hawaii and try on a lot of the bags that I had just been drooling over online. I tried on a lot of the ready-to-wear pieces. So the first thing that I tried on was this cute little white crop top with these little jewel embezzlements. It was quite pricey though, so I don't really think it was worth the money. The next thing I tried was something very similar. It just had that cute little stitched on Miu Miu logo and it was much thinner, but the actual entire back of the shirt was kind of exposed. The next thing I tried on was this beautiful navy striped crop top. It was very fitted and made of cashmere, super soft. And then I also tried one of their very iconic kind of like peplum shorts. It was not my size, but I do understand the very cute appeal that it has. And then next up was one of their set pieces. Again, not my right size, but I think it is still so classic, chic, feminine, Parisian. It's really giving what it's supposed to give. And then lastly, I tried on this beautiful cashmere cardigan, as well as this little short that had an elastic band. Both were just extremely comfortable, extremely soft, and I was absolutely in love with a lot of the pieces that I tried but once I was done trying everything on and shopping they were so kind to provide us with a lot of champagne and cookies and it was just a wonderful way to end that store. 
Next up was Tiffany. So my boyfriend actually had a couple pieces he wanted to look at at Tiffany as well as my friend. So he went into the Waikiki Boutique. It is super large. I think it has three stories, but they were really well stocked. We had everything that we asked for and they ended up picking a couple pieces and this is the wonderful view from the Waikiki store and I was definitely a happy camper by the end of day one. Alrighty, this is the final fit of today. I'm bringing out my Birkin because I do plan on going to both the Hawaii stores, both one on the Strip and then one in Ala Moana. But I'm just wearing my lovely Zimmerman dress. I'm wearing my gold Oran sandals to match. I have my Van Cleef vintage guilloche pendant. I have just some jewelry going on here and then these earrings I just found actually in like my jewelry box. I don't even remember where I got them from but they are super cute and festive I felt so I am wearing them out today but yes so excited. I'm going to be going down the strip first, checking out Hermes, checking out the Rolex store and then also looking at Chrome Hearts. We have an appointment there and then we'll be going over and driving to Ala Moana to do a little bit more shopping so stay tuned. So the first stop of the day was at the Rolex store in Waikiki in the international marketplace. We wanted to try on some styles as well as get a better understanding of how to even get a Rolex in Hawaii so my boyfriend has been after that blackface Samariner for quite some time that you just saw and I also wanted to look at this Lady Date Just this is in the 28 millimeter face. It has a fluted bezel, mother of pearl face, as well as diamonds in the face and the oyster perpetual band. So we were able to meet a very lovely and nice essay who was kind enough to explain the process of how to get a Rolex in Hawaii. And basically what she explained was that in your first couple of days that you're here, you should visit the Rolex store and essentially put down a wish list for what you would like. And you have to be as specific as possible when you make your wish list. So you have to basically put down every aspect of the watch that you would like. So what kind of band, what kind of bezel, how you'd like the face, what size you want, diamonds, no diamonds, date, no date, all that kind of stuff. And you need to be as specific as possible because basically each time a watch comes in and it's able to be sold, they'll take a look at who's on the wish list and they'll give the watch to whoever's wish list matches the specifications closest. So it's better to be more detailed because you have a better chance of getting that specific watch than someone who is a little less detailed. So I put down that I wanted the exact Lady Datejust that you guys saw and I also said that I was okay with a two-toned watch as well. Not this one, I think the diamonds in the bezel are a little too much but I said I would love a fluted bezel but with a rose gold two-toned Lady Datejust in the 28 millimeter face. So once we left the store, we did receive an email from our lovely SA stating what our wish list was and then again reiterating that if the watch came in, she would give us a call. So unfortunately, by the end of our stay, we did and not receive the call which I think is still to be expected but she did say that next time we know we're coming to Hawaii please just let her know one or two weeks in advance and she will definitely try to prepare something for us to take home so although this trip was not as fruitful as we would have liked it was still great to make that connection with the essay because now next time we're in Hawaii we do have a much higher chance of being able to score our dream watches so it was great to get that information and I wanted to share it with all of you lovely people. The next stop was Chrome Hearts. So unfortunately, Chrome Hearts didn't allow any views or pictures, but to enter Chrome Hearts, you do need an appointment. So you do need to call. So make sure to give them a call to set up that appointment if you do plan on going. But we did pick up a couple items, mainly for my boyfriend. It is definitely a streetwear edgy brand. Next up was Hermes. Again, no photos or videos anywhere inside. So make sure to tune into my Hawaii haul video to get all the details of exactly what went down during my Hermes visit. We then headed over to the Ala Moana shopping center. So this is a very large open air shopping center. It is a much more centralized area. So it's kind of easier to hit all the stores that you'd like because there's a lot less walking involved. And then it also has a larger directory of luxury stores. So it definitely had some stores that were not available on the Waikiki strip. We first hit the Dior Cafe. It was super cute, a little less nice than the other Dior Cafes I've been to in Miami or Korea, but we had a coffee and then we headed over to Luave. Luave is ready to wear and quality of leather is just so wonderful and excellent, I think. I first tried on their kind of updated version of the puzzle bag. I think it was so beautiful. It had a tri-color of kind of whites and beiges, though I think there's a little bit controversy of the new puzzle bag versus the old puzzle bag. I also found this adorable little charm. It reminded me of Bori and I wanted it so bad. Here I'm trying the mini flamenco clutch in Napa leather in this beautiful camel color. I think that Loewe just has such beautiful colors in all their leather 
others and they also had a lot of their raffia styles available they are ever so popular and i think the perfect raffia tote bag is from Loewe. but we then hopped over to cartier i have been so on the fence about the justin clue line i think it looks really good with my love but i don't really love bangles let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the justin clue line from cartier if it's worth it but my boyfriend then wanted to go over and look at the santos watch i was first unsure about the square face but i do think it definitely makes it a little bit more of a dressy watch so it has a time and place in everybody's wardrobe but i also wanted to try on the full pave of the justin clue ring but they actually make it only in a 52 or larger size so my fingers were too skinny but they had wonderful ceramics as well as bags available in the store and just so much eye candy everywhere we then headed over to Louis Vuitton. The Louis Vuitton in Ala Moana is actually kind of sad and dreary. They had a lot of their beautiful canvas pieces on display, but the Waikiki Louis Vuitton boutique is actually much nicer. So I'm going to pop in some footage from the Waikiki boutique instead. Look at this beautiful wall of pastel capucines. It was just so beautiful. Inside the store, they had so many trunks available. Just generally the interior decor here was way more light, airy, and beautiful. They had this beautiful wall of silk scarves and they also had a lot of their bright colored epi leather bags available on display it was just beauty everywhere the first floor had all women's it was shoes ready to wear bags everything fashion jewelry was available as well i have kind of been into Louis Vuitton fashion jewelry at the moment but i don't have any pieces still sometimes i think it's a little bit I don't know, plasticky looking. I also checked out their sunglasses. I thought that this with the little dangle of the LV on the side was so cute. I do love me a good wire sunglass. We then headed over to the fine jewelry section. My friend wanted to look at some of the Onyx pieces. Here she's trying on the bracelet as well as the ring. I do think that Onyx is so beautiful. Some people I think shy away from the black, but I do think that the black actually pops and stands out from skin tones very, very well. And it's just very elegant and cool. We then stopped by Celine. I have been loving Celine these days. I do really want to back from them, but I've just been really torn on a lot of styles. This is the new Ava Triumph bag. This is the same kind of as the Ava, but now it has that extra flap with the Triumph logo on it. I also tried their classic shoulder bag, again in their classic monogrammed canvas. I think that the rectangular sharp edges is so chic and classy. I also tried this style in their kind of natural camel gold color as well i really like the gold color from celine but if you actually look it's like calfskin leather and it scratches so easily so ugh, i don't know i'm still on the fence we then went to our van cleef appointment this one is located in the neiman marcus and we were so lucky they happened to have a shipment and so we were able to see a lot of different pieces i was very lucky because i specifically wanted to try the rose gold and carnelina five motif bracelet and they just happened to have gotten a shipment that day and then i also wanted to try on this white gold five motif as well because i do feel like i just have too much rose gold in my collection and i definitely want to expand my white gold so let me know what you guys think which one is more suited to me they also pulled out their bracelet sizing tray so this was to help me better understand how exactly the motifs would sit on my wrist because at the current sizing the motifs were really spread out so i am the smallest size the size 16. i then tried on this beautiful white gold sweet alhambra ring with the diamond setting so beautiful so radiant and it was priced just under four thousand dollars i also tried the perlay ring also beautiful it's a wonderful stacking ring and it complements a lot of the other pieces in my wardrobe and they were kind enough to let us sit in their one private room it is a very small boutique so make sure to make an appointment we then headed over to the rolex store at all the moana as well they actually did have two date just available for sale and the ones that you see are the ones they had available for sale but honestly the people at Alamana were not that friendly so I would highly recommend just going to the Rolex at the Waikiki Strip instead. The absolute last stop was Ramoa. Unfortunately, all the shopping that I did did not fit into my original luggage, so we headed over to Ramoa to see what options they had. My boyfriend does like the aluminum casing, but personally, I do like the polycarbonate, especially the hybrid version with the reinforced corners. I also love that they offer stickers to be able to remind you of all the wonderful travels that you've had with your family and friends. But this does bring me to a wrap on the shopping vlog. Please make sure to subscribe so you do not miss my Hawaii shopping haul. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye!